Hi Scrapbookers! So it's me Katie Scott and I'm working my way through the um, Get It Scrapped creative team assignments and a lot of times I'll do like all of them <laughs> even though we're only assigned two and so this is one of those days that I have a little extra time so I'm just having some fun and I'm playing. So this is going to be my inspiration piece. Um, the assignment was to use um, woodland, the woodland motif and Debbie Hodge has a uh, get it scrapped um, Pinterest board for woodland. So this is my inspiration piece. Um, just mostly for the fact that most of the things that were posted were just um, kind of looked like this. And I I don't know. I didn't know what to do with that. So this looked more like something that I could work with like a layout. So I've gathered some things together. Not a lot. Um, but I had some deer. I knew on this sticker sheet and then I, I found the um, polka dot. <laughs> so that was about all that I had pulled and then I, I have a shelf in my scrapbooking space that I call the doodle bug shelf and so it's not all doodle bug so if it goes this way I'm thinking of using it if it goes this way I'm thinking of probably not using it um, on the page Actually, that's pretty similar, isn't it, with the, <laughs> the things coming up? And I like the weight of this um, paper. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, we've got some old sassafras woodland looking things. And just very cute stuff, which I don't use all the time. This, this looks like it goes... So I'm just going to put that to the side, and this as well, this paper um, looks like it coordinates. Ooh, I kind of like that for no particular reason. And I think this is actual doodlebug. It's some brown. Let's put that to the side. Oh yeah, check all those out. <laughs> so that just reads real doodlebug to me. Um, doodlebug is a scrapbooking company. And um, also, who else, the other one that kind of does cutesy like that is Bella Boulevard. You see a lot of that from them. Let's see. So I'm just doing a little process of elimination here so that I don't have too many choices. I probably already have enough choices. This is um, Making Memories and... I don't know, that just looks like it's in that same kind of color family. These papers I think coordinate, but I don't think I'm going to use them. Um, nope, but maybe this. <laughs> maybe a stripe is always good. Okay, I've officially like pulled too many sheets. Oh, there's some. Okay, really. Put it down! Walk away! Okay, and there's a sticker sheet. So I'm going to put these other um, papers back on my little doodle bug shelf, and then we'll get started with making a layout that's going to mimic this layout here. So I make my scrapbook videos in real time, so <laughs> sometimes that means they go a little long, they are unplanned. Um, but that's, and so I don't have any photos chosen for this yet, but what I'm going to do is just start to kind of build the page around this pillow as, as, um, <laughs> inspiration. So let's use, let's see, our base page will be this one, because this had kind of that look to it, and I just need to add the polka dots to the sides, and... I just did a layout that was channeling Celeste Smith, and that will be on the blog, on the Get It Scrapped blog, either, I don't know, depending on when they they post their things, where she does, like, her, a lot of her layouts have a strip on the bottom and a strip on the top, and so I think instead of going with the side to side with that, those polka dots, I'm going to go on the top and the bottom. I'm also going to do the thing where she just cuts her, like a freeform cut, 
I'm going to do that on each side. So I'm doing that a little bit more um, exaggerated. Let me see if I can do it this way. I don't know. <laughs> I think that looks like doo-doo. Okay. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. And I think what I might do is I might cut this page down a bit. Um, I think what I'm going to want is a white background. Yeah. I'm just getting a piece of white cardstock out. And let's just stay with this. And so, one, okay, a couple options. One is my little sheets here aren't long enough. So I could just cut another one. I wrecked my scissors somehow. I must have cut something that was like too, too big or too small. And... So I could try to just line these up so that they looked the same. <laughs> just trying to kind of decide how I'm going to fake having, there we go, no, <laughs> huh, well people, let's just go with this where it's not going to reach the top and the bottom, except I kind of want to do it like this, like the Celeste Smith one. <laughs> um, well, let me see if I can put something cute in there that would kind of take up the space. Um, oh, I know. I think I have, so I have these little banners, so I'm just going to cut that, so then that will go across the whole thing, and then this banner sticker can go, because that's sort of in the same color family, we'll say, oh, please fit, <laughs> here we go, Ugh. it's awkward. It's okay though. We're going to stick to that. So there's one. And I've got white and off-white. But there is off-white in this. There's not really white, but there is off-white. So I'm just going to stick with that. And then I'm just going to do something on the bottom so that it's the same. And then I am going to stitch this down. So that will... I'm going to pull my sewing machine out and stitch it. So one way I like to make scrapbooking a little easier and faster is if I do something on one page, I might do it again on the next couple of pages or use the same kind of set of supplies on several pages in a row. And that helps me to speed up my process a little bit. But I would say when I videotape my layouts, a layout takes a good 40 minutes for me to make, sometimes 50. When I don't videotape a layout, it usually takes more like 30 minutes. Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. It just depends. So it's looking kind of Minnie Mouse, isn't it, with that? <laughs> with that, so it, there's a possi you know, possibility of a topic could be trip to Disney World. Now let's get some of this sewed down. So I like to make my videos in real time just so you can see kind of how long it actually takes because I know there's a lot of process videos out there that are very well edited and I'm not trying to say anything negative about them but I do think they because they put a lot more effort into it than I do <laughs> but I do think it gives you a false sense of how long it takes. I'm just going to do a straight stitch. I know why I'm wobbling here, but I am. 
And I, because this is so large, I kind of want to make two, two go rounds. felt like it needed to. And now I'll go across the bottom and I'll probably also do that twice. And I'm just using a brother sewing machine. This model is XL 2600i. It's not my favorite model. It's okay. So my favorite brother sewing machine model was one that I bought at Walmart, which is a place I don't go to very often, um, but I bought it at Walmart and it was the Project Runway model. So it was also kind of a cheap um, brother, a cheap edition of a, I don't think brother is necessarily cheap, but the ones I buy, these the models I buy for scrapbooking are, so they're usually like a hundred, the price point is like usually a hundred dollars or less. So there is the the layout so far, and this is just. I guess I could still do it this way, um, you know, up and down, just to be a little different. I don't think I like it that way though. My dog wants out. Jesse, <laughs> she's trying to open the door. No, you just stay right out here. Okay, so now we need like um, a big area of aqua blue. So I'm mimicking this, oops, this space right here, that big aqua blue space. And I'm gonna do it with this paper. And I think what I just might do is just cut this down. I almost wanna just do this by hand. So cut this down, good girl. So it's not, cause it's kind of, in the example, it is kind of wonky. Like it's not all super planned out. Good girl. Oh, she was like, I wanna do something more fun than this. So there's my, just make this slightly wonkier. Oh, these scissors are kind of going. And let's see how I. Yeah, I think I'll round the edges. They were talking about rounded edges on the Digi Show, which is a scrapbooking podcast for digital scrapbookers, but there are a lot of episodes and a lot of conversations that they have that I think really relate to regular, you know, regular <laughs> paper scrapbookers. So I like this. Um, I do think I also want to sew this down. So I'm going to get that sewing machine back out and I'm going to do a rim around this blue section. Now, I don't know what this page is about or where the pictures are going or anything like that. At this point I'm just playing with this inspiration. Let me just get this all kind of I don't need a lot of adhesive for this. I just need to get it <clears throat> adhered to the page so it doesn't move around when I sew it. And here's my sewing machine. And so this is just up on my desk. If I had a better... <laughs> I have a really great workspace. Um, but if I had more counter space, I guess, I would just be able to... or just move around. But part of it is... I'm um, doing a lot of my scrapbooking nowadays sitting down, which is different. In my old scrapbooking room, I was standing up. So everything is kind of like right here at the sitting place. <laughs> Oops, gotta turn it on. And around the corner. Almost 
there. And so if you want to see the finished um, layout, even though I haven't finished it yet, it's going to be over at the Get It Scrapped blog. And there will also be other scrapbooking, there will also be other scrapbookers who've drawn inspiration from the woodland motif and incorporated it into their scrapbook pages. And, and so if ever you're watching a scrapbook video and like mine, for example, <laughs> um, and they don't show you the finished layout first and you really want to show like, you want to see like, where is this going? <laughs> You might just want to like fast forward to the end, look at the end of the video, and then work your way back, you know, then go back to the beginning. And that's not too hard to do in YouTube. I wrecked some of my favorite scissors. I, oh, that's, that's just sad. Okay, so next up, I see there's buttons, and I see there's little woodland animals. And I'm just wondering if these little animals are going to stand out enough, and I kind of think they're not. I could put one on this little banner, but that's kind of weird. I'm wondering if I want to cut out a whole silhouette file of a woodland animal that honestly I'm not sure I'll use again. Um, so probably not. I have this bigger one, this bigger woodland creature that I could put kind of on a one of these little label stickers. I don't know, it's just, it, I don't think I like that. So I'm not really sure where I'm going, but that is okay. You don't have to know where you're going uh, with the page. Like, you don't have to have everything all planned out. You can just take it, like, one step at a time. I also have this cute little squirrel from Cosmo Cricket, who, um, oh, she fits on that little thing pretty well. I think she's going to go right there. Let's just stick her down before I change my mind. <laughs> so, that's cute to go right there. And... Let's see. I had more of them. Um, let me just look in one more place because I think I might have another um, or another one of those chipboard elements because that would provide yeah some consistency on my layout. So here's just a little bin that I have full of doodads. Oh, haha! -ha. There's even a little acorn here. And so instead of buttons, I'm going to use brads from this because I think that'll just be easier to execute. Because I'm not lazy, but I do think it's annoying to have to sew the buttons. I don't know why. I guess we all have our things where we're like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like, that's too much work. Um, <clears throat> okay, yeah, I also have a another little um, woodland creature. So now I'm kind of deviating a little bit from the design of this. So I've got little creature here. I might put the acorn up here. Um, so Still kind of wondering how we're gonna. I'm just gonna put a little. Um, this is a Studio Calico die cut sticker, so I'm just gonna put it right here, <laughs> and so it'll sort of do a visual triangle. Really, this should be a little bit higher if I were to do it over again, which I am not going to do it over again. Can you hear my dog? She's pacing around the room like. Go do something more fun than this. Um, it's really cold. We're having our Arctic freeze here in Florida. So I've got my embellishment. So I'm really doing this page very differently than I do. Like most pages, I don't start with the embellishment. 
So if you always start one way in scrapbooking and you want to kind of mix it up, do start a different way. Like just do something like however you normally start, start different. <laughs> That's um I just think a really good piece of advice. So I also have this chipboard element and I'm going to put it up here even before I know what else I'm doing. It's just a little flower. So I've got there's a, a, a triangle but I've also got a triangle of those little stickers going here. So I've got kind of two different triangles working there. Um, now is the time on sprockets. <laughs> it's not sprockets. Sprockets was a Saturday Night Live sketch from a long time ago. But I seem to quote a lot here. <laughs> Anyways, it would be, now is the time on sprockets when we dance. <laughs> so now is the time when we dance. No, it's not. Um, so next up is, I feel like I want to have probably a picture and some journaling. Now I wanted to get more of all, remember I, I pulled like 50 pa pa pieces of paper and now I'm like, well now I'm not even using them. I really wanted to use this one because it had, it was just so cute, but I think what will happen is this will be my, um, my mat around the photo and then also my little journaling spot. So those, those colors are all coming from that pillow. So I just need to figure out, you now what do I want to tell on this page? I have a brand new doggie named Jessie. She's here in the room with me. She's kind of um, annoyed that we're not doing something more fun than this. She's looking at me like, I'll take a picture. <laughs> so you'll, um, it would be really clever if I took a picture <laughs> and then I, um, hello Jessie, I see you. Um, it would be really clever if I then printed it out and used it on the page. Jessie! I'll try to put that with my blog post when I do it. Um, anyways, I'm going to get a similar picture of her. So I can still tell a story. And I think what the story is, is my dog, Jessie, would much rather be outside. So this is Jessie. These are um, recent pictures. Oh, this is a... I love this picture. I just want to scrapbook this picture over and over and over again. It's my favorite. Okay, I'm going to use it. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Um, so I'm just putting my storage binder to the side. And now I just, I don't know, I think I don't want to trim this photo at all. But let's just see how it looks if I kind of border it. Yep, I like that. So... If I give it kind of a healthy margin there, I think that's going to be good. You'll still be able to see there's trees there. And I'm just going to also hand cut that with my lame scissors. Oh, I'm kind of sad about these scissors. I've had them for a long time. And they're one of the only pairs that my kids haven't, like, drugged somewhere else in the house. So I don't know where they are. So that seems like too big for the space, but I'm kind of okay with that because I want to see, I want you to see that that's a woodland. I think I can trim this photo just a tiny bit, just so we get more of a, oh, I'm inside and I wish I were outside. Um, now, if I were going with super consistency, I might round the edges of that paper, but I actually think I like it without rounded edges, and then I'm just going to add a little bit. What I might do is just write on these and then cut them out for the journaling. All right, so, or maybe, let's just see if we border it just a little bit. That's kind of cute too. Oh, what to do. 
I can still do the little, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna mat the photo. I'm not gonna pull that sewing machine out again. Although I think you could probably do that and that would be cute, but I'm kinda over it. Okay, there's just a thin pink mat around the photo. going to look like this. And I want this to get that little embellishment to go kind of over the photo. Like that. Yes? Yes. <laughs> so let's get this stuff adhered down. And that chipboard element is sticky, but I just put a little piece of tape there to stick it to this so it doesn't keep moving around, because I kind of think it will. And that's just going to go right there. So we can see, like, the little woodland creatures and that that mat has a whole woodland motif on it. It's cute, right? It is. Sometimes, I don't use cutesy all the time, but sometimes it's just fun. <laughs> it's just cute. Because it is. Okay, I know that was an awful lot of tape. So that's going to go right up here. And then... I just want to write, um, I'm wondering where my title is going to go in relation to my um, journaling. And so what I think I want to do is have the title be here and have it say outside. And I think I want to pull in that red right here. Um, I do have some letter stickers right handy. But I also have, oops, oh my gosh. I have an old tanker desk and, oh no, okay, I was going to say, one of the drawers, the drawer full of thickers is a uh, stuck. I also have this, these, and I think I want to use these letters instead of these. I just think it will, um, they'll be more, you'll, they'll be more in your face, which I kind of want. So I want to spell the word outside she really wants to go outside. I opened my balcony door so she can, um, so she's out there now, but she wants to go for a walk. But I shouldn't say that very loud, because she'll... All right, so where do I want this to go? Kind of, I'm going to line it up so it's going right with the edge of my photo and right up to that border, so it's kind of going over it. And one thing I do like to do when I'm making a title and talking at the same time is I will just spell the word I'm spelling if I'm writing it backwards, which, you know, I can, <laughs> like so many things you can do at once, like walk, chew gum, makes sense. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to smush this right Get it close. Oops, doesn't look good. Here we are. Outside. So, I th yeah, I think it's really easy to get a, a word misspelled if you're just worried about where the letters are going and, you know, other things to contend with. Outside. So our dog is a rescue dog, of, well, she's a rescued dog, um, and I really think she lived with a family, I betcha, and because she's a good girl, but I also think she probably did what she did today. Today she chewed her collar off and then chewed it up, <laughs> and um, she also loves to be outside, and I think if you let her go, she would just go until she was um, lost, but no one ever picked her up, so she got into the whole stray system, and we adopted her through 
an organization called FAR. It's um, Florida All Retriever Rescue. So she is a flat coat retriever. Okay. And so I almost want to say, please, can we go outside? And I have, I have some little letters that I think I can do. So I want please to be big and then can we go outside also to be big, but I'm not sure how much I want to infringe on this photo. So please might go up here and then let me try that. I don't know how well that's going to do, but let's see. I'm using the other letters now. Oops. Hello? Hi. I did. <laughs> okay. I also got, at Publix, I also got dinner. So. Well, I already did that. See what a good wife I am? <laughs> I did. I've got ice cream, I got Caesar salad, and a chicken and a dog collar. Okay, honey. Bye. See what a good wife. <laughs> I'm laughing because I um I played hooky from work today because I'm still not feeling like a hundred percent. Like yeah, I could go work, but. I didn't. I played today. <clears throat> because, one, everything's under control. And, two, um, I still have a cold. Oh, come on. you got to give me more than... You get two S's in lowercase. And that's it? Seriously? Okay, this is from Studio Calico. And I'm officially, like, a little perturbed. <laughs> you gotta give me more than two lowercase s's. That's not cool. So I'm gonna use the uppercase s, but I'm gonna be a little annoyed with it. A little annoyed about that. P L E. I hope I have enough letters for it. Okay, and okay, we've got an A. Good. I wish I could be in control of what letter stickers I'm just going to take the tail off that A so it fits with the S just a little bit closer. Like snuggle, that's what, I think that's what um, Debbie Hodge calls it, snuggle and separate or something like that. She calls some, she has a word for like scooching in all the letters on a title. I'm not, I'm not really sure what that, if snuggle was it, but it could be. Please. Can we go outside? So I really, oh my gosh, only one L too. But I think um, for the L... So there was two lowercase l's. I've already used them. I'm going to use the J, but use it upside down. So it looks like an L. I'm annoyed with the... Because the, they give you two uppercase J's, two lowercase J's. And that's... I guess that's an... I don't even know what letter that is, because there's another J. Maybe that's an I. I don't know. We need more of the letters that you choose first on, um, what's that show with the wheel? Wheel of Fortune. Like S-E-R-T-E-A. <laughs> All of the, like, the words that get a lot of action. Okay, please, can we go outside? I don't like the P's in this. I don't like the uppercase P on this font. Okay, so I think this letter sticker sheet is really cool. <laughs> this part of it is a little bit hard to use. So there we go. And I feel like those letter those stickers aren't really going to stick down too well. I almost want to get that sewing machine out again. But I 
also don't. <laughs> now I'm going to use these tiny little letters that I'm in love with. Can we go? Can we go? So I'm going to align this to the edge of the paper that way. Yeah, that's why it's good to write it out because I almost did the we. I don't know if you have that problem. Do you have that problem? <laughs> like, forgetting what you're writing? I guess most scrapbookers aren't talking while they're scrapbooking. Or maybe you are, like if you're at a crop. Okay. I don't really go to crops. Because you want to know why? Because when I go to crops, I think of them... Like, I secretly think of them as a race. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, I know. Um, but for some reason. So those are those. I love these letters. They're called Tim Holtz Label Letters Ideology. Um, they're really cool. Okay, so here we are so far. We are 36 minutes in. And that's looking just about done. Um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to use that... Um, what I said I was going to do before, I think I'm just going to, this is what I've been up to lately, is just draw, hand drawing some journaling lines. So that's my little signature every time. I think I know why she got lost. She chewed up her collar today and loves to go outside and run. So there we go. Um, and I've already done my embellishment, so that's usually the last part of my page. Let me just check back in with that, see if there's any other little thing. I've got a little thing that says play. That might be kind of cute somewhere, perhaps. Play. No, I don't like that. <laughs> Maybe here. Um, hold on a second. Hold on for four for five minutes, okay? Okay, we have something that says open air. I just want to see Jesse. Okay, hold on just a second. I'm gonna let the dog out. Will you take her outside? Downstairs. <laughs> Thank you. You'll like that. Watch her though. <laughs> She's like a little kid. She's a little bit untrustworthy. You know, you've got to really keep your eye on that dog. So I've got one that says open air. So let me just see. I'm going to cut part, part of this off, but it doesn't really apply. Open air. And where did play go? Okay, I had the one that said play, fun, all smiles, relax. I've got just a little, like a little rainbow. I've got the little tree. That's kind of cute. I think maybe here. I don't know. Is that too weird? I don't think I like that. Do you like that? <laughs> I wish we could do like, um, you know, scrapbooking where we could, uh, we could kind of like, l like, you know, you could say like, yes, put it like interactive scrapbooking. You know, you could say, yes, put it there. Or no, that looks horrible. <laughs> I think that would be fun. Um, cause I don't really know. I'm going to put it here and I'm not super thrilled about it though. 
So I probably just shouldn't if I'm not. So I'm going to put that back. Blah. <laughs> it's all good. I've got a little heart. The little hearts could maybe work. I don't know. <laughs> now I think I'm over embellishing it. So I've got open air. I, I don't think I like that actually, even though I like the sentiment of it. It just doesn't. I'm, I'm putting it back. And I would kind of like to have something on that space there. Let me just say... How about today? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think it's like getting dressed as you start over accessorizing. I don't really do that anymore in my life, but when I was a teenager, I probably did a whole lot of over accessorizing. Um, and so I went to this thing called the Barbizon School of Modeling. Did you ever hear of that? Like, be a model or just look like one. Well, my friend had gone to it and, um, and then she was in a beauty pageant and then she won a scholarship to the Barbizon School of Modeling. So since she had already gone, she was like, hey, do you want to do you want this? And I was like, oh, sure. And so the Barbizon School of Modeling in Bangor, Maine in 1986 consisted of going to the Bangor Airport Hilton, which was not fancy at all. And um, <laughs> neither is the Bangor Airport, the Bangor, Maine Airport. And um, putting on makeup, like way too much makeup, and then like pretending we were walking on a catwalk or making commercials or and getting pictures taken of ourselves. So it was like custom made for, oh, I'm going to love this. So I don't really love this, but it's, uh, what do you do? Okay, I think this is, I'm calling this one done um, <laughs> for more random stories. I can't remember what I was telling you about. Anyways, maybe you can leave me a message in the comments and remind me and I'll tell you. Um, Bangor, I don't remember. Oh, the accessories. And so we would have to like come up with sporty outfits or, you know, business-like outfits. And we, it was really as cheesy as you imagine. Um, seriously. But anyways, um, one of the things that we learned in the Barbizon School of Modeling was if you have too many accessories, if you have like whatever you're going to go out with, then like take one off. So if I were to take one off, I'd probably take this off. Because it looks like doo-doo. So let's do that. Let's take a lesson <laughs> from Barbizon from 1986. And I'm going to take that off and just leave this be. Because it I don't think it's helping. So I'm just kind of mushing that back onto the sticker sheet in not a very good way. So I think that looks better. Um, not every, like, embellishment cluster needs to be clusters. Like, sometimes you can just have a simple little something. I think that looks better. So, I think, and I think when you do cutesy, you have to be really careful about being cutesy and cheesy at the same time. Like, pick one. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm Katie Scott, and I, my blog is called Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking. If you want more inspiration for the woodland theme... Go to Get It Scrapped, and they're going to have a lot of scrapbooking ideas for you there. It's really like the, you know, the world book encyclopedia of scrapbooking is Get It Scrapped. It's, it's like anything you can possibly think of. They've done a blog post about it, seriously. Okay, go check it out. I'll talk to you later. Bye.